Well, first up tonight, guns in our country. Sunday's mass shooting in Florida, which left 50 people dead, including the gunman, has once again put the issue of gun control and regulations front and center in the United States. The shooter in Orlando legally purchased the guns he used, including a semi-automatic assault rifle. That type of rifle is a restricted weapon in Canada with tight regulations on who can get a license for one. And the regulations extend to where and how you can practice shooting those guns. Our own Ron Shaw spent the day learning more about gun rules in Canada and he joins us now. Ron? Well, I visited a private gun range today and I was frankly astonished at the standards they had to meet, at the precautions that were taken and the standards that they had to meet in order to be certified. The range is either green or red. If the red light is on before you even step into this underground gun range, the ear protection and safety glasses go on. Nina Dickey is a range safety officer here, not to mention a very good shot. She's also a teacher. How to safely handle the firearm, where to keep it pointed, um, how to load it, things like that. Um, make sure they're wearing their proper eye and ear protection, things like that. You can't just walk in and fire a gun. You have to watch a training video, go through an orientation session, and that's just the start. I'm holding a 9mm Heckler & Koch handgun. But I'm not even allowed to touch this unless I have this range supervisor with me watching every single move. Dickie says the rookies want to come back and do much more. Many are very excited. They want to go out and get their PAL card right away. Uh, we direct them to the nearest training facility at that point. The range itself has to meet high standards. Ventilation with filters to make sure even the air stays clean. The back wall has three feet of rubber to absorb rounds before they can even hit the concrete. These handguns are restricted firearms, but even for non-restricted hunting or target rifles, there are lots of hoops to jump through in Canada. First, there is a two-day firearms course. Then the course report goes off to the RCMP. They screen you, and if there's no red flags, then you'll get your possession acquisition license for non-restricted firearms. Assurances have to be made that you won't be a threat. You even need, let's say, your spouse's uh, okay in order, to, uh, in order to get clearance. For restricted firearms like these handguns or the AR-15 semi-automatics, there are more courses, more approvals, and more licenses. The license to buy and keep a firearm is just part of it. You also need a permit to transport a restricted weapon back and forth from approved destinations like a gun range, for instance. You're even limited in the number of stops you can make on the way there and on the way back. That's a far cry from the free-for-all in the U.S. Thank you very much, Ron. That's CTV's Ron Shaw reporting live for us in You're Halifax. You're welcome. And that actually brings us to tonight's web poll. We are asking, how do you feel about Canada, Canada's gun control laws? And here are your options. First up, they are tough but reasonable. Or they are too strict. And your final option, they aren't strict enough. So we want to hear from you about that. Also, we told you last night about vigils for Orlando planned around our region. Several were held last night and there was an outpouring of support at the Halifax gathering. The lives of 50 human beings ended too soon. Over 1,000 people came together on the Halifax Common well, last night for a candlelit vigil over the victims uh, of Sunday shooting. The mass the shooting at the Florida can... LGBTQ club has shaken many Maritimers and many other vigils are also planned across our region. And we've got a list for you. There's a gathering in Charlottetown tonight at 8 o'clock at Trinity United Church. St. John is also holding one at Fort Latour tonight at 9.15. Tomorrow there is a vigil planned at Clock Park in Wolfville at 7.30 and on Thursday Fredericton is holding one at City Hall at 6 o'clock.